The ACCESS program is really focused on making sure that the, the best diagnostics, the best drugs are available in the right place, and that's the right clinic at the right time when the patient presents at the highest level of quality of standard that any one of us would give to ourselves or our children. We want to make sure that the same products that are available in the West or in developed markets are available rapidly um, to people in developing markets. It's, it's unacceptable to have some of the lengthy uh, timelines between the products that are introduced for use in the West and the, the, the time that they're used in African markets, so we try and shrink that down. The question became, if we want to continue to make these products more affordable, how can we first understand and then hopefully work to reduce the cost of manufacturing. The demand side works plus the supply side work, working with manufacturers, drug access, finding lower prices, under, really understanding uh, capitalism and the marketplace. And then on the demand side, working with uh, governments and uh, facilities and doctors to really build capacity to absorb these lower price commodities, for instance. Getting treatment down from a thousand plus dollars per patient per year to just about what, I think it was ninety dollars worth. It's seeing them come down to an ordinary patient who can now go on treatment because the country can afford that treatment and can afford it for ten people at, at the cost of one person before. You know, that is huge and that's great. In order to be successful in this space, you need to have the kind of deal-making ability that Chai brings, the understanding of how markets function and the business aspect of medicine, but you also need the program experience. One of the things I'm most proud of in terms of the way Chai has gone about that is to first make sure that we're focused on the best drugs, the best diagnostics. Um, and then focusing on making those uh, as affordable as possible in a sustainable manner and not, not looking at what's, what's cheapest or most affordable and, and good enough. We don't just set up something and say we're going to do it this way. We learn as we, we, we go along. One is always concerned about the treatment interruption, right? So that sort of puts the, puts the mental pressure on, on my team and I because all the time you think that if you delay, you know, the finally, ultimately, there is going to be a treatment interruption, which is pretty bad. So that sort of keeps you, keeps you driving. So we work very closely with our country teams to support our partner governments to make sure that, you know, they are our customers and we make sure that the patients in those countries have access to the products. Usually the end product is giving, making sure that the patient gets the best of everything and making sure that whatever we put into practice is actually transformational. At its essence, um, our access programs are a, a service function. Our ultimate goal is that when uh, a person comes into a health center, they receive the appropriate health care that they need to stay healthy. And that means when they arrive, the right products needed to diagnose that patient with their ailment. And the right drugs have to be there so that if the patient is diagnosed, they can be appropriately treated.